In this video, we're going to learn how to set up our development environment to start writing TypeScript code. There are a bunch of things that we're going to install. First is the IDE, or the editor in which you're going to be writing code. Uh, the editor of choice that I'm going to be using in this course is Visual Studio Code. Uh, you get that at uh, code.visualstudio.com. It's uh, an editor which has some pretty decent support for TypeScript, and it's going to be handy when we're writing code using TypeScript. So head over to code.visualstudio.com and download the version for your operating system. I'm currently on a Mac, so it says uh, it has the download for a Mac. On different operating systems, you're gonna get the corresponding download. Once you download it, it's an installer that you run on your machine, standard installation procedure for your operating system. There shouldn't be anything too complicated. Uh, you don't have to use Visual Studio Code though. You can pretty much use any editor you have of your choice. Uh, the only thing that I would suggest is use an editor that lets you open multiple files at a time. If you look at the editors that come with the operating system, like Notepad for Windows or TextEdit for Mac, it lets you open just one file at a time, right? You open a file, it opens in a new window. Open another file, it opens in another window. That, that can get painful because we're gonna be working on a bunch of files. So choose an editor that lets you open like a folder and then you can open all the files within that folder without having to create new windows for it. So as long as you do that, any editor should be fine. So the next step is to install Node.js. Like I mentioned before, Node.js is gonna be the platform in which we're gonna be running the TypeScript compiler. We need the compiler to convert from TypeScript code to JavaScript code, and that's a Node.js program. So you need Node.js installed on your machine to run the TypeScript compiler. Once you have run the compiler, and if you've got JavaScript code, we're gonna be using Node.js again to execute that JavaScript code, which is a result of the compiler. So we're gonna be using Node.js twice. First, to convert from TypeScript to JavaScript, and then the second to run the JavaScript that it has that has resulted. So we need Node.js installed on our machine. So go here to Node.js.arg and download uh, the version of Node.js uh, that you prefer. I like to go with the latest version, but you can choose the long-term support version as well. Again, when you click this, you're gonna get an installer that you just need to run and you will have Node.js installed on your machine. You can verify that by opening terminal and typing node dash v. So node is the name of the program, which is the node.js program, and dash v tells node to print out the version. The version that I'm currently on is 7.9.0. As you can tell, it's a little bit older than the version you see here, which is 8.5, but that's okay. Something around seven or eight should be fine. And uh, even the LTS, like I said, six is also okay. Uh, another thing you can do is run npm-v. So npm is the package manager for Node. It comes with Node.js. When you ran the Node.js installer, it installed npm with it. So npm-v prints out the version of npm and that should be installed as well. So you see these two, well, Node is successfully installed. Now that you have this, the final step is to install the TypeScript compiler because we're gonna be writing TypeScript code and having it compile. How do you install the TypeScript compiler? Well, TypeScript compiler is, like I said, a Node module, it's a Node package. So you use the Node package manager to install TypeScript. The way to do this, the way to install any Node package is to type npm install and then the name of the package, all right? So the name of the TypeScript package is TypeScript. So you say npm install TypeScript. But wait, if you just run this command, the default behavior of npm is to install the package of your choice into the directory where you're running npm install. So right now I am in the directory home slash TypeScript basics. So when I run npm install TypeScript, it's gonna install it in this folder, TypeScript basics. I want it available across the board in all my directories. So if I'm in a different directory, I should still be able to run the TypeScript compiler. In order to do this, I wanna tell npm to install this globally. And I do that with the flag dash G. Now npm is gonna install TypeScript globally for me. So irrespective of which directory I'm in, I can still run the TypeScript compiler. It's gonna add it to my path. If I execute this command, npm is gonna fetch TypeScript from the global repository and it's gonna install it. I'm not gonna run this right now because I already have TypeScript installed, but as long as you run this command, you should be able to get TypeScript installed on your machine. Now with these three things, the editor, Visual Studio Code, Node.js, and the npm install of TypeScript, 
you're all set to start writing TypeScript code. And we'll do just that in the next video.